my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of FM19's The Hall of Fame, my friends. Uh, above, you can see the link to last episode. Make sure you're watching that one. Check that out before you crack on with today's episode. It's back-to-back -back derby days, ladies and gents. Last time out, we faced off against Nimes. This time, we're going to face off against Marseille. And it's the first time we are meeting these in Liga and in derby conditions since I took over the club. So this is going to be exciting. As well as that, we are going to be playing in the Coupe de la Liga, and uh, yes, we take on St. Etienne. Two big games coming at you, like Cleopatra, in today's episode. So, without further ado, ladies and gents, let's crack on. We've got lots to catch up on, and lots to get cracking on with. So fixture screen is where we're going to start. This is where we start each and every episode. For those that are regulars, you already know that. But if you're new, this is how we do this thing. And as you can see, last episode was very, very good. Two wins uh, against Nice and Nimes. And uh, yeah, we didn't concede a goal, did we, either? But... Things have changed, and we have only conceded one goal, but things have changed. We came up against AS St. Etienne, and uh, yeah, a good 2-1 win for us on the day. Sopi and Diop with another couple of goals this season. Um, we then conceded uh, against uh, with St. Etienne, and uh, it was Haji in the 90th minute. And I am probably going to show you this goal, actually, because this is the sort of shit that makes me want to pull my hair out. I'm going to let this load up, but look at the bullshit involved in this crazy goal uh, they uh, obviously have the ball they go for a little free kick it makes its way all the way up the pitch now you would think here Ferguson's in control of that goes back to the goalkeeper yeah bullshit so yeah, complete and utter bullshit, and lucky for us, we didn't lose that game. We didn't end up getting the 2-1 victory. We then moved on against uh, Gwig Camp, and uh, we got another good win, uh, an away victory, 2-0 on the road for us, and yeah, it was, it was pretty easy, to be honest with you. I completely dominated the game. Um, Jasic from the spot, he's been asking for some more football. I gave it to him, and he did not let me down in the game, and uh, yeah, and then Max Riedel, a guy who seems to be popping up from set pieces almost every single game at the moment, with another goal for us this season. And, and yeah, a great, great win. And that brings us to today's episode where I've already said we're going to play Marseille in the league, Etienne in the cup. Um, quick look at the league table and then we'll get moving. And this is how the league table looks, ladies and gents. Uh, we are still in fifth. It seems to be where we've made ourselves comfortable this season. But um, a win here and we would go nine points clear of six. For that would be massive. But also we would trump Marseille and probably go up into third place. It's very tight, I've got to be honest, at the top. And to think that we're involved after 10 games is quite incredible as well. But yes, looking forward to this game. Looking forward to this episode. Let's get cracking. Okay, ladies and gents, so here we go. We are going to go with probably our strongest team. The big question mark where this team's concerned, though, is who to play up front and when to play them. Um, none of the strikers are really doing it. Amon, the youngster, has the most goals uh, from that position this season. Diop is the leading goal scorer from attacking midfield with six for the season. But yeah, it's a bit of a worry that none of our strikers can get firing. But we are going to play a fan favourite in this one because it is a derby. Also, something else we need to talk about, my friends, before we crack on is that Thomas De Silva you will see the little TRN there near his name he will be joining us in January uh, for an initial four million pound um, after 50 or so appearances and some goals it can go up to as high as nine million it's the most money we've spent on a player so far but look at the guy's attributes and look at what he's done for us already this season and last um, he's a big big Favourite of mine, and I'm happy to get this deal across the line. Uh, but yes, we are going to move on with today's game now. And we are going to go with Picard in goal. Iwasaki at right back, Zagra at left back. Rydal and Thigas going to continue their centre-back partnership. We're going to go with Stockel and De Silva on the wings. Marchetti and Matazzo going to continue that centre-midfield partnership. We are going to go with Diop. He's scored the most goals this season. He's been in scintillating form. And we're going to go with Mahika, who is yet to score this season. But I'm hoping he can do it in this one. I should inform you all as well. Roby, he's done. He's out for four weeks. Uh, a bit of a nasty injury in training. But um, hopefully, with Amon and Mahika, the goals will start flowing. Let's do this. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we get our first derby against Marseille kicked off with me at the helm. And I'm hoping we can get a good result. And uh, a very early chance, maybe. No, the throw-in is really, really atrocious. We don't take Dodo out either. He's coming forward. If Ivanov was a guy we looked at some time ago. And he's turned into a bit of a player. And what a save. Is that a save? Or no, it's just over the bar. An early chance, though, for Marseille. Right, throw-in. Stockel, can you do better with this one? No, 
a couple of very poor throw-ins there from Stockle, but Zagra, Marchetti, Diop, whose first touch isn't good, and they're going to hit us on the counter-attack again, and they come forward with Marin. That was Rydal's tackle was a bit loose. So 15 minutes have gone in the game, and it's all Marseille. We're dominating the possession, just not creating the chances that they are. Um, it is a little bit of a worry at this moment in time, but it is still nil-nil, which means we're still in with a chance. Right, free kick. De Silva's free kick. I think that hit the goalkeeper. Bounce clear, but it's an opportunity. Free kick to Marseille now. And that one goes wide. Both teams creating plenty of chances, but they're all going begging. Right, free kick to Marseille. They're going to dump this one deep into the... Oh, please. 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 I hate bullshit goals. And that has got to be one of the most bullshit goals I have ever seen. Um, I'm not happy with the performance though, it is not good and I need to see something more from the team. Um, I'm actually going to pull Mahika at half time, he's not got into it, we're going to bring Amon on, he's young, he's hungry, can he get some goals for us because that is what we need now. Right, corner, Diop into De Silva, the short one, that's a good ball, Rydal nearly with another goal. Right, so almost 60 minutes gone and I have gone attacking now. I want to push and press the issue. A free kick, De Silva. Oh, both efforts are not good, but that's all right. Matazo does win the ball. De Silva, Rydal, Thigerson, Rydal, Thigerson. Come on, just get it out wide. Give it to someone who can do something with it. Someone with a bit of creativity. Diop now. That's good. Into De Silva. Comes inside. Diop. And Diop finishes the job. That's what he's been doing all season. It's 1-1. One, one. Okay, it is still... 1-1, one, one. there's 10 minutes to go. We've done so well to get back in this. Now, Stockel is not having the best of games. We are going to bring Moraes on for him. I'm remaining on attacking, mainly because they're on attacking, um, and they're really trying to go for it themselves. And I just think maybe we could counter that um, play if we just remain this way. Matazo was another one I was thinking about pulling off, but I just don't think the bench is strong enough. So I think this is all we're going to do. We're going to finish up with this team, and hopefully, 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 Moraes makes an impact right throw in Zagra don't give it away it's into the op Zagra again he's coming across the pitch it's not made its way to the player he intended but De Silva into Marchetti comes wide into oh no Iwasaki's first touch has got to be one of the worst you will ever see they're flying through and Pekar with the save saves the day and saves Iwasaki's blushes and it does look ladies and gents as if we are going to get a well earned draw here against Marseille um, this should be this should, oh there we go Zagro's played excellent in the game clear this out Pekar good stuff Oh, why has it gone to them? Why are they still coming forward? And there we have it! A full-time whistle blows. And I tell you something now. I am very, very happy with that draw after the bullshit own goal we had to see from Marseille. So here we go, ladies and gents. We now move on to cup action. And we are back at home. And uh, yes, this should be good. Um, that was a good spirited draw against Marseille. We have to put that out there. They're one of the big boys of the division. And in the end, when you looked at the stats, we were head and shoulders above in shots and stuff. Uh, just unlucky, really, I think is what we have to say about the game. But everybody performed well. Now, as much as I'm taking the cup seriously, I have had to rotate the team heavily because we've got a league game two days after this one. And this game comes two days after Marseille. It really is a bit ridiculous sometimes how quick the games come at you but we've got a good team we've got a good squad and I think we're capable of at least making a bit of a fight against uh, St Etienne with the team I'm going to put out so we are going to go with uh, Picard in goal we're going to go Mabiala and Lopez at fullback Harrell and Panetra are going to play centre back the Silva and Reyes are going to play on the wings we're going to go Machete and Jashit in centre mid and we're going to play whole setter behind Amon hopefully Amon can score some goals uh, because that is something that the strikers as I've already said are struggling for so let's do it and let's try and book our place in the next round so here we go, ladies and gents. St. Etienne get the game kicked off. This is a team we've already beat this season, but it was a very different team. Right, early throw-in to St. Etienne. And uh, they look like they've put out their strongest team possible. So we could be in a little bit of trouble here, ladies and gents. Uh, we do have a bench, though, to make the changes, should we need to. But they come forward. But that was good stuff. That was a good tackle at the back there. And we now come to De Silva, who has been a constant threat all season. Look at that blam-busting run into Holzetta, who's making his first start, gets his second goal. Get in there. 
25 gone, and it has evened itself out, ladies and gents. We are now slightly on top as far as possession is concerned, and slightly on top where chances are concerned. So it's going okay with this rotated team. So not the worst first half, it has to be said. Uh, we are 1-0 to the good. We could still improve. The striker not being involved in the game is still a concern. Um, I sound like a broken record, the amount I've spoken about the striker situation. But I'm worried because if the goals dry up in midfield, we are fucked. So yes, let's hope that Amon can grab himself a goal in the second half. Right, there is a corner. De Silva with it into hole setter again. And what a corner. They tried to close him down it didn't work and we're two nil up i've managed to pause it exactly on 53 minutes um yes that will never happen again but yeah we're going to make our first change of the uh, game and we are going to bring iglio on for marchetti we're going to change iglio and uh, jashic around he's going to go to deep line on support he's going to go to a center mid on defend and yeah uh the balance is back in the midfield but um, we need to make that change marchetti is uh, very very important to this team and he is blowing out of his bum hole right now but at 2-0 i feel confident making this center midfield change right there's a throw in iglio with it whole setter morales jashish oh the silver comes very close okay we're going to make some more changes De silva i need him fit for the next game so Sola is going to come on for him um 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 um, um. a problem like the striker one i'm going to leave a on on even though he's not having the best game and just hope something happens because the minute he gets one goal he might get some more um so we're just going to leave that to crack on i think this is the only change I'm going to make. And there is a free kick. That's a nice free kick. And Harrell got on the end of it. And it was a great save by the goalkeeper. And with the form that that whole setter has just shown me in this game, could we get away with playing two attacking midfielders and seeing if we get goals from there? Because strikers ain't working, but the attacking mids are scoring plenty of goals. Okay, ladies and gents, so we find ourselves back here at the fixture screen. Uh, we've got to talk about next episode. Now, we are obviously in the next round of the Coupe de la Liga, and I don't know when that's going to be. So um, next episode could come back a little earlier, or potentially it could be quite some time until we play that game, um, until the draw pops up i will not know so um for now we will just kind of organize this the best way i see fit so i'm actually going to play the month of november uh, these are games that are not very attractive and they're against majority of teams in the lower half of the table. Kane might have been a good one to play because they're going after a top six finish along with us surprisingly so at the moment but Paris and Germain and Monaco are very very close and uh, what I was thinking of doing for next episode was playing Paris and Germain um, out away from home and then play Nantes off the screen and then just update you on what happened and then play AS Monaco as our second game of that episode. It'd be two away games against two of the biggest teams in the league. Well, I think that could be very, very interesting viewing. You will remember we played PSG last season and uh, made a bit of a go of it, didn't we, in the first half? So who knows? Crazier things have happened, but um, yeah, it could be humble pie time, couldn't it? Because we've been flying this season. And talking of flying this season, this is how the league table looks. Uh, you will see 11 games played. We are now fourth in the table with 26 points. And we are only three points off the top, which is quite ridiculous, ladies and gents. But what a season it's been so far. Eight wins, two draws. Only the one loss uh, that we suffered to Lyon, who are above us this season. And Marseille are just ahead of us on goal difference. So, yeah, it's a very good season. We're actually above Monaco. Jesus Christ. It just shows you how good this season has been. But, yes, it's been great ladies and gents i'm very happy with the way we're trucking along seven points clear now of seventh place and uh, we're sort of making top six our own i honestly didn't think the team were this strong but they are proving me wrong right now and they are doing crazy crazy stuff so there you have it, my friends. We are done and dusted here for another episode of FM19's The Hall of Fame. A great episode, a good derby draw against Marseille, and we are booking our place in the fourth round of the Coupe de la Liga. And hopefully we can push on even further and really take the silverware seriously this season, my friends. Uh, do join me next time when we crack on with more games, probably a, a big one uh, if it does pan out the way that I want it to against PSG and Monaco. So do join me for that. If you're new, like, share, subscribe, and all that good shit, you know what you got to do, my friends, to help support the channel. 
channel and make sure you don't miss any of this fantastic content. But until then, you've been legends. I'm saluting you all. Have a great day. Peace out and all that good stuff. I used to waffle right at the end here. I'm doing it now. But yeah, laters. See you next time.